We're here in downtown Miami. The anti-Trump rally is in full effect. They're coming right behind us right now. There's cops everywhere, helicopters in the air. We're gonna find out what they're scared of financially. Because at the end of the day, the dollar's the bottom line. Whether you're red, whether you're blue, doesn't matter. Green is the color that counts in this country. My name's Elizabeth Taveras and I'm with the Dream Defenders. Financially speaking, what are you worried about under President Trump? Financially speaking? Specifically financially. Well, first of all, when we talk about how he's a fascist, we're talking about class. We're referencing class and we're talking about how he is the, he's not even just like the 1%. He's probably even more filthy rich. There she is. So financially speaking, what are you most worried about with this administration? What are you worried about financially? How does it affect your bottom line? It affects me in other ways. Financially speaking, right? What are you most worried about right now? You all good home? Oh, I'm honestly, I'm, mostly I'm worried about the economy uh, because um, with the way the other countries are viewing us, it's kind of embarrassing yeah. where we are. And I feel the dollar will fall. That's one thing. And if the border of Mexico is going to become even worse. Financially, what are you most worried about? Well, I mean, here's the thing. Well, okay, cool. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Well, yeah. Start over again. What are you most worried about financially okay, well, speaking? Like I said, yeah. me as a black man in America, um, there's uh, a lot of stipulations and situations that go behind that due to the fact of the systematic racism for over 500 years. You want to be a teacher? Um, yeah, I want to be a teacher and I want to also, I'm also a community activist, so I want to help others. But of course, there's no money in helping others. That's not the way the, the system is set up. That's not the way the house is set up, yeah. you know? And whatever the house rules is, the house always wins, as they say in Vegas. Financially speaking, what are you worried about as a Trump president? Affordable Care Act, I wouldn't be able to afford the birth control that's actually keeping them in control from growing and, uh, and, and my body making more of them. So these are real life issues that are genuinely affect you. This is not like, oh, you know, Democrat, Republican, this is like, yo, this is my fucking yeah. life. Yeah. And then people, they show up to these things and, and now they're upset and, and now they're angry. And I'm like, okay, where was that frustration months ago? Yeah. You can't do anything alone. But, you know, if somehow we can find a way to unite. You were junior. Uh, I saw a lot of the cops coming up to you congratulating you for holding this rally. What was your role in this? Uh, well, my role was as, as a, a ambassador. And also, uh, we've ambassador every single protest that took place here in Bayfront Park. Okay. So they always used us as, you know, the enforcers. Got you. You're the enforcer? Yeah. I wouldn't enforcer. fuck with you. <laughs> Come on, Junior. No, 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 I'm peaceful. I'm peaceful. You know, I can tell. I can tell you're a good dude. Now, let me ask you a question, Junior. Uh, you're here. Are you anti-Trump or are you anti-establishment? What are you protesting? I can't answer all that. Can't answer that. All right. How about this? Financially speaking. No. Are you worried about anything with Donald Trump? Yes, I am. What are you worried about financially? We're not going to get all social and political. Let's just talk about money for a second. What are you worried about financially? My kids not being able to have a good education. Your kids not working. Okay. How do you mean? I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. Whether you're red, whether you're blue, doesn't matter. Green is the color that counts in this country.